Hey guys, what you see here is a face knurled plate. And today I'm gonna show you two different techniques on how to get this done. So here's the plate, nice and smooth. We're going to run the boring bar with the brace carbide tool over the surface to knurl it. Here we go. It's, it's, you can see it's a very nice, even crosshatch pattern. And you can see that the diamonds are a little bit tighter, closer to the center of the uh, axis of the, of the boring bar. And then as you move out, they open up a little bit. And then as it gets to the outside, they actually compress a little bit more. But the hatch pattern is so nice and even using that uh, boring bar, uh, boring head and fly cutter. Here you can really see the difference between the diamonds, between here and here. And that is how you, you give yourself a texture across the entire surf. Now, to run that, that only took three minutes. Yeah, just three minutes. You can't beat that as far as the time is concerned. For the next technique, we're going to face and roll in the lathe. And for that, we need a single knurl wheel with a double knurl on it, as you see here. Up next, turning it on the lathe. Here is the finished knurl. There we are. Now, because it's on a radius, you can see there's a little bit of recutting. But the purpose is to have a nice rough surface, and that's what we have here. So now we can actually do it on the finished part. Here is the finished knurl wheel and you'll notice this area here and this following area have areas where it recut in an uneven way um, but that's just how it is when you're doing a face knurl. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and stay up to date on all my future videos.